Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Cisco, and I'm going to react to the new game that Warhouse Studios is going to be bringing out. And if you don't know them, they actually released Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is a kind of medieval RPG. And that was a really good, fun game that I really enjoyed. And we're going to take a look at that first trailer so you can kind of get an idea. And we're, then they're going to be talking about their new game, which could be Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which I think it is. And they're going to review it, and I'll react to it, we'll talk about it, and we'll go from there. So, tune in. So their trailer is going to release soon, and let's take a look at their first trailer to kind of get a reminder about what we're looking at for the next game. One of the most rewarding role-playing experiences. The combat was hard, <clears throat> you know, compared to like most melee games. Slaughtered everyone. A huge army. They attacked without warning. Now, the maiden bloodletting. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. This is a good trailer. I have never seen the original trailer, or maybe I have. I don't remember. It's been a while. And this is all first person. Uh, the gameplay is first person. Uh, these cinematics are in their person at least, but uh, from what I remember, gameplay is third person. Shooting an arrow. Shooting an arrow was just hard too. All right, so that's their trailer for their first game, and the whole reason why we're here um, to see their next game and to see what they have coming up, see what they have cooking, you know. So yeah, I remember that game. It was really good. I think I I don't think I got the DLCs. I don't really remember. It's been a while since that game came out, actually. Let me, let me take a look at uh, how long ago that was. It was six years ago when that game came out, which is not too bad, actually. And they kind of said that they were already work, working on the second one, but they didn't really give us concrete um, confirmation on that. And so I remember reading, oh, it's gonna start. It's got, what is this, one minute? Two minutes? I like this music. This music's really nice. I'll, I'll turn down the music just a little bit. But it sounds cool, I, I love the music already. So yeah, that, one more minute. So that game came out, so the first Kingdom Come Deliverance came out um, six years ago, and it was kind of, it was, it was my under, it was one of the underrated games, RPGs out there. And if you haven't played it, go ahead and play it. It's really fun. Um, at first, actually, I should go back and play it, actually. But at first, I remember it being really rough around the edges. Now I upgraded my PC. And so I should probably just give that a shot. And maybe after this, um, I should play it. <laughs> so we'll probably, I'll probably just jump in for a little bit. But yeah, super excited. Uh, funny, interesting backstory with that is Warhouse. Warhorse Studios um, followed me at one point, and that was really, really early on my journey. But anyways, this is going to start, so let's take a look, shall we? Oh, they restarted it. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh my gosh, that would have been so crazy, dude. Peggy 18. Like hell no. You're out of luck. I don't know if this is in game. 
Okay, okay this... Right, right this is in-game. This is not in-game. But that looks like the actor. No way they use the same, uh... Actor. Like, I know games will render the actor in there. Henry. Henry. It's been a while. Oh snap! <laughs> and now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Yes! Dude, that's the way to do it, bro. That's legit. Just to see his face? Oh my gosh, dude. Because that's the guy from the first one. It looks like the same engine, actually, which is a little disappointing. Oh, I gotta write this down. It looks great. Deep silver, alright. Whoa. That's good. I always dreamt of leaving oh, this place. A bit. I lost the lead. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life? It can end before it gets started. Congratulations tonight! You finally become a man. Wake up! Pull yourself together, Henry. Alright, that's gameplay right there. Take crossbows. Kill an enemy for me. We'll hand anything on a platter to men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Oh, what the heck? Lover. O merciful God, be kind and protect us, so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. <laughs> Is that Notre Dame? <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Krittenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. Yes, it's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years, which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in this royal city of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Now it's 250 people Whoa. working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. Okay, okay. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and 
goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. You were right about our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't right. have enough resources and experience and all. And then they have enough money. Proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game now is we have money. Much bigger. And now we make original better game. game. I don't know, three hours of cutscenes, now we have more than five. Regarding the size of the world, it's two times bigger than it was. Okay, yeah, The story is longer and much more epic, so... Good. Previously it was about an issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kings. This is a Breath. behemoth of a game in comparison to the first in my opinion i think it's i think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully well you would game. hope so you and would then hope so. throwing them out there and going right let's see what you made of this is going to be so much fun henry is a nice. young guy so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that all means that it's actually That's on good. you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion. And right. we want you to feel sword in your hand. Right. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies in the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. As far as uh, missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows. That's what I thought. So some early firearms. I don't know why that was added, but okay. Like the good if that's old school RPGs. Historical. It will always if that's surprise you what you right. can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat, you can be a sweet talking guy. I'm for it, I just don't want it to be problems. like... You can be a charming knight, just you can be a thief, you know, a scoundrel. Anything you do will Zombie. be recorded. People will remember it. They saw you do oh that. Gosh. Our crime system oh will gosh. react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street. And now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you can tell them, ah, piss off, man. If you do a lot of Good. criminal stuff around the village, people will start to be suspicious. They will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into like greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. Wow, what a run. Living medieval times? We are moving to different places, so one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really beautiful nature with uh, quite unusual rocky formations all around. It's great. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge silver mining, very rich city. So there's this big city. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, the biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, we are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to <laughs> go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine and war. 
it was really like colorful. Like uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments. Like players should go and explore all those like, will. little woods and will. beautiful rocks and castles. The thing that I love about the game most is just wandering around. Because the nature is <clears throat> really beautiful, it's it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. That's a cute little secret. A killer score. The music is big part of the game. I mean, it sounded good in the Jan intro. Jan Valka is the composer as with the first game because I think he's also the genius. Video games are having great composers, man. Great music coming out from these games. A lot of great opportunities for musicians out there. More chances, basically, out there. This, could, this is tech. This is called. Um, Gregorian chant, it sounds like. Um, I know there's instruments. Gregorian chant would be just voices. But there's that uh, ambiance uh, that they're trying to put with the game, too. So. Uh, not a surprising choice, but a good choice. A bit surprising because it's like, wow, they're trying to match historically with the historical game, so I'm sure it was fun. I'm sure it was fun for these musicians to play in a church like that, but trust me. The acoustics are legit. can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. See you in KCDT. Later this year, Wishlist now? Bro, we're there, bro. I'm gonna wishlist that. It looked good. Um, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about what we just watched. Game looks good. It looks like it's in the same engine um, as Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. The graphics still look good. The world looks amazing, but it's also hard to judge the graphics on a premiere stream like that because it just did not look like the fidelity and things were really crisp and really probably how it's going to be in game. So we'll have to see a more detailed, probably higher resolution upload by them um, with like gameplay and stuff. But it looks good. Uh, Henry looks, which is the original character, Henry looks like he's a little chubbier in the cheeks, which is kind of what happened to me. Um, just means that um, your life is a little. You're, you're not poor anymore, you're living a little better. And that's kind of what happened uh, at the end of Kingdom Come Deliverance 1, which um, you start as a straight up like peasant. Uh, it, was, it was a blacksmith's son. And you go through that whole journey, they burn your city down, some bandits. I'm forgetting right now, but your whole city gets burned down by these people. And so you gotta, you barely make it out. Like it was so good, you barely make it out. And at, by the end, I, you know, I don't want to like spoil it, but you obviously don't finish that way. It's a video game that's been out for a while, but um, so yeah, it'll be very interesting <clears throat> because he wasn't a peasant at that time. So there's probably something that happens that puts you 
back down because in this world in this medieval like royal families kind of thing there's a lot of things that could happen that could take you back down a notch and stuff whether it's just political or whatever just that stuff happens so yeah um graphics look good looks like it's the same engine i'm expecting it to be um way more refined than when the first time it came out um they have a crossbow and a shotgun or whatever pre pre uh, medieval shotgun or whatever that is I, I i hope they didn't just put that in there to put it in there um because i'm assuming that they're being historically accurate with that and, and just like the first game but that's gonna be fun crossbows gonna be legit and just so you guys know it's hard to use these weapons like basically when you're level one and when you use the arrow like in games you just shoot straight right and it damage like you do minimal damage but in this game you shoot <laughs> it goes straight to the ground because you don't know how to shoot an arrow duh so that was cool so it'll be interesting to see the new weapons um and the fighting style is kind of like what's that game honor honor metal of not, not metal of honor um for Honor. So the game For Honor, where you have to use your controller or your mouse and move to the left if you want to attack left. And if you want to block it, you got to move the same direction. And so you're kind of just like moving around. So it's, 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 it works. It's fun, you know, um, once you get used to it and stuff. Um, music sounds great. Um, talked about it early on. Um, gave some of that Gregorian chants. But it looks good, and I'm definitely going to wishlist it. That's about it. Just want to do a quick video and say what's up. That was Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 by Warhorse Studios. And it's going to be coming out later this year, and I'm excited, man. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get it. Let me know if you played the first one. Um, yeah, dude, that'd be legit. So that's it. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.